Hello and welcome back to a Nindo Way of the Ninja. Look at that. Everything's different. We got a new person. We got rid of an old person. Indara. Has three skills. I mean, yes, Hanzo had flight, but the advantage of this guy is renew, which heals you if you're, if you're, which gets rid of poison and injured status, cure one and cure two, so. Plus, he's got wings magic now. We've got her. She was that scripted, ran up to us chick. Anyway. Wanted to show you guys how I got some of this before I move on. So if you play this game, you can do it. First of all, I came here. With, and then, I got into some battles. Yes, that's one of the things that happened. As you can see, I've done more than just a little bit of leveling up. Then we go over here. Not entirely worth my time at this point. And come over here. This is the best place. This is one of the two best places in the game to buy stuff. First, I'm gonna lie. This. Welcome to the port town of Nagasaki. Here you can buy some of the most powerful weapons in the game. Look at that. That is fucking amazing. There's one item you can't buy here that is awesome. But let me show you some other stuff you can buy that is awesome. Health kit. It's the revive spell as an item. That is fucking amazing. Next place you can go. Do I have a tango one? Does anybody have a tango? Nobody has a tango one. One more. That was wasteful, but I don't care. I've got 29,000 gold. And all the awesome items. The red items are what I would recommend equipping for your ninja characters. And this is what I would recommend equipping at, at, the, at for your uh, sage hermit type characters. I know it's cheaper to probably use Wings Magic and simply rest it in, and then you buy a hundred pay a team. Satsuma is where you can get the uh, Power Rod, I believe it's called, from the uh, Sages. This is the other best place in the game to buy weapons. The third best is Setsu. But let me show you an awesome place to level up. Now, granted, you have to be close to level 30 to even attempt this, otherwise you will get murdered. This is Yamashiro Castle, not a really amazing place. But right next to it is one of the final dungeons of the game. A single mercenary is so not worth my time at this point. Go over here. Now, we will be revisiting this place. But right now, can't get past.
past that gate, but right now this is a great place to level up if you're close to level 30. Unless you're like 28, 29, do not attempt this dungeon. Seriously, these monsters will murder you. But here's what I mean. This is a great place to level up. That kind of sucks. But you'll find out why in a few moments. If I win, I'll get harder. Fire Staff. I went through like a few videos and totally forgot that I had specifically bought that for that for the character stage type character, and that's fucking annoying because I don't like to get it. And I hate this item when it uses it is retarded. Because they have like they have more than they seem to have more than one. It's ridiculous. Before I do that, I want to test something. That's what I thought. You haven't seen me use much magic because physical attacks are normally cut it, but now it's not going to cut it. I wish they wouldn't have jinxed her because jinx prevents you from using magic. Even though she's much stronger than a normal, um, much stronger than a normal female character, still not up to par with the male character. The advantage of a female character is speed. have limited uses too, that's why I didn't want to do that. Oh well, I can always get another one. You can equip idols, but my main use of them is as a healing item. Do me a favor and die. Thank you. 1500 experience points apiece. Great place to level up if you're in the, um, near the thirties. This has happened like nine times already. This one dude. I've come out of this dungeon, with level, while I've been level grinding, I've come out of this dungeon like nine times, off, off camera, and he has attacked me every single freaking time. You think that whoever's, you think that Nobunaga would be like, dude, you didn't succeed the first time, why am I gonna pay you again? But no, he keeps getting hired to kill me. And that keeps happening. And that keeps happening. See, that one battle totally made up for all the money I wasted on. Let's see who's here. Anyway, I'm going to take a break from from doing the missions that are mandatory. That is towards 
mandatory in the sense that you have to take them in order to get to Nobunaga to take you on some side quests. Okay. Take you to a special place that nobody may be getting. First we'll go to Echigo, Echigo. Chigo, I don't know. Instead of going there though. We'll go up here. The Sado Gold Mine. Now, we probably should have done this much earlier, because it's kind of broken now. By broken, I mean we're probably not going to encounter a significant amount of um, challenge. Wow, there's people here. I wasn't expecting Let's talk to this guy and see what the problem is. <laughs> I sure will. Oh boy! I love how he says, and don't run off with any of the gold. What is he referring to? Because the monsters drop gold every time you defeat them in any dungeon. And furthermore, you can't pick up any gold as a, as a, as a map item. It's never available. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. Anyway. Let's go over here and not have to fight for the idiot on the map. Bandit. Buy Bandit and your 11 experience points. another item that can't be removed from your inventory until you complete the mission. So now that you complete, until unless you want to accept the mission, do not take the game to the entrance. Kind of overlapping with this mission. It's probably not going to be difficult. I keep jinxing it by saying shit like that. And I always hate these maps. Remember Cranius? This is Heliocranius. You know what the difference is? Poison. Heliocranius can poison you instead of just throwing cold wind at you. Still fucking annoying though. guy. He has incredibly high defense, but he's still probably not going to be too much of a problem, like you just saw. He's kind of like the metal slime from Dungeon Dragon Quest, except without the tremendous amount of experience. Well, it is tremendous for, like, if you are at, like, level 20 instead of 30, like, it's 30 plus the diet. 
but for now, I can fight enemies that drop way more than Anyway. Let's see. Frost Beast. No treasure, just check it. Just check it. Yeah, goodbye. You saw him. Don't need to see him again. Or maybe you do. I'm still gonna run from you though, because I don't need to fight. It's less like running and more like simply walking away. Step into that room until you're ready to take on the battle. Literally stepping into the room triggers the event. Now I'm in a battle before I'm in a battle. A battle before a battle. And that was severely anticlimactic. I think once we... There we go. Let's take out the help first. You guys take out the help. I'll work off the baby. First instinct. See an avenging spirit with a sickle. Attack it with a metal sword. This is how you know you are ready for a game. When a boss does three damage to you. damage to you, you are prepared. only say that only enemies usually only defend when they're low on Bye now. You know what's amazing? 
those two random mooks that I fought in that one dungeon later on from this by Yamashiro Castle are much stronger than this boss. I love how the spirit is like literally twice the height of Sadek Nichi's. That's amazing. How did you get past the monsters? Then you're immediately kicked out of the dungeon. Wow! Here's another guy I fought like three times. Oh, he's got his trainees with him. notice by defeating the enemy the key is now gone so we can't go back in the gold mine. That's sad. Oh well. No. Now we rest because we earned more money. Let's see who wants to kill us. Yep! Him and his sombrero. He didn't get to attack one time. You've got a price on your head, Ninja. I certainly do. And then they run away. They're the strongest of these ages, but they don't have as much energy. This is the weakest. These guys are the weakest of the sages, but they have the most energy. They're basically old. Sure it is. Let's talk to his wife. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's it for that. That's a side quest. If you want to challenge it at a level that's actually challenging, probably 20. Now, for another side quest. Let's go to Sagami. On the Tengu. Mm -hmm. 
even that little bit of energy that I wasted lying here, I will recover because you never take on a mission without being at 100%. It's just dumb to not do it. Let's take on the Tengu. And the Tengu leader has a hilariously long and retarded name. I have forgotten exactly where to go. We'll find out. Oh, these guys. I remember when you were a huge threat to me. And I used you to love you. Now I probably don't have a hell of a lot to worry about. I'll probably save taking these guys. Jeez, he's still alive? <laughs> it's funny that some enemies that are weak to physical attacks can be really hurt by magic, or other guys that are really strong to magic are really weak to physical blows. And then there are those who are weak to stuff like physical attacks to the point where they can't be hurt, but magic will still hurt. And then there are those that magic can't hurt at all. But physical attacks. Those are the various types that they can fight in this. Enemies that can't be hurt by normal stuff. Uh, that was a very disappointing infinite board. Also, I disapprove of that state. This amiibo is not as full. out the shaman first because he has magic. Kenshi's really not that much of a threat because he's anything that's based on a samurai or a ronin or a swordsman, they have no magic. Also, you're going to love this. When I get there. When I actually get there. Bye now. This is Nick Forest. I love how it says that and stepping on those broken child parts have no Yeah, you guys suck. Five character sprites, including the boss, and now there's two in the battle. I'm not gonna I'm not going to move forward. I'm sorry. I'm not stupid. Never give the enemy an advantage. I don't want my one character to be vulnerable to three. Even if I'm not likely to lose this battle. 
When a boss doesn't do damage, that's when you know you're in good shape. I don't think enemies ever run out of MP of energy of basically magic. They seem to be able to do that at will. The good news is, and kind of bad news if it affects you, you can only revive a character twice before they can't be revived anymore in that one battle. Just to be a dick. Just to be a dick. You died at the hands of not even me, but my side character. Goodbye, Arashi. Goodbye. Now that we have done that and made ourselves trapped in the process, first let's lodge. Then, let's save. Always double save. Always, always, always double save. And apparently fight some dude. Fuma Ninja. I love these guys. They are persistent as hell. They are dedicated. Damn, that had to hurt. Bye, Fumakoji. We've saved. We've done all sorts of stuff. Let's talk to people now. Some of their conversations changed. Oh, I love this guy. 
No, you'll just die. You fight Sabibo, Saga Mibo, Then you just die. You die if you die, yes. <coughs> that was moderately helpful. Anyway, we don't need to be here. We need to be more though. I entirely forgot where I needed to go for my next mission. So let's go to Ichizen. Ichizen. Go over here to Monochi and find out where the hell we need to be. Then I'll cut this video short. Mount Ken, okay. Now we need to go to where it is. Mount Ken is close to here. Let's go to Tosa. And apparently have war break out. Maybe. Is anyone gonna fight war against each other? No war this month. Uh, Mount Ken is literally right next to Tosa. We are nearing the end. There's only a few more places to train at, and then we are done. We are done like yesterday's tea. And that is a terrible analogy. Save state. Save. And now, we are done for this video.